the first area that we that is, comes quite naturally to us is, of course, friendship, because our club has always been about the friendship between the United States and Sweden, but also friendship between individuals who meet in different contexts at our events. Um, the club was actually founded by Swedes who um, had been to the United States and wanted to retain their links to the United States and their friendships. So friendship really is at the core of uh, how we think and everything we do. Um, the second uh, set of values has to do with inclusion and diversity. Um, from the very beginning of the American Club, uh, it, it, it was quite unique because it actually welcomed women as full members of the club in 1905, which is actually before women could vote. So it was, a, in some ways, a bit of a revolutionary thing. And we, um, by stating <clears throat> that we adhere to these values of inclusion and diversity, we're really um, trying to highlight um, uh, that historical point and the way that we've grown out of it, because today the American Club welcomes people from many different nationalities, all of whom are friends of the United States. Uh, and we also um, tend to run events which highlight um, the diversity as a value and the benefits that both of our societies, Sweden and the United States, reap from encouraging diversity in different contexts in the workplace and elsewhere. And the third um, value set, which also comes very naturally to us, is um, intercultural awareness. And um, that might seem like a little bit of a, a no-brainer um, as an intercultural club. But if you stop to think about it, while there are many uh, things that bind us, uh, many <clears throat> cultural aspects that are quite similar in the U.S. and Sweden, many, many, we, we, we we share an interest and belief in many similar things, uh, democracy, human rights, and so forth. Uh, but there are differences between our cultures. Uh, we have different preferences. And we shouldn't deny those. Rather, uh, in our club, we feel that one should um, highlight them, be aware of them, be mindful of them, and actually even celebrate them. Uh, and so um, that is sort of the third idea. And intercultural awareness is something that uh, we also, once again, promote through our events and through actually <clears throat> trying to promote knowledge, uh, so concrete knowledge, about um, our two cultures.